The Blickman Engineering Pro Pilot System is a turnkey brew house that provides the capability to brew beer consistently and efficiently. We're going to go over assembly and operation of the Pro Pilot System. Let's start with assembly. Set the table upside down on the floor. Mount the receptacle box to the bottom of the table by removing the faceplate. Line the box up to the studs on the bottom of the table and tighten the nuts. Reattach the faceplate of the receptacle box. Loosen the set screws and insert the legs into the sockets. Next install the shelf. Make sure the shelf is even on all four legs. We recommend installing this with the legs protruding one to one and a half inches through the shelf. Once the shelf is in place, tighten the set screws. The outer rubber casing on the caster expands when the bolt is tightened. Place the caster inside the hole and tighten to secure in place. Flip the table over and peel away that sweet, sweet protective sheeting. Use the quarter inch bolts to install the Riptide pumps. Run the Riptide power cables through the grommet on the table and plug into the receptacle box. The three-way valve goes on the pump on the right. Always use thread tape when making pipe connections. However, quick connectors do not require thread tape. Install the hop rocket mounting bracket with a 5 16 hardware. Attach the rims rocket to the bracket. Now to wire everything. Attach the T fitting to the bottom of the rims rocket and the sensor fitting to the top. The elbow will connect the auto sparge to the flow meter. Once you have quick connects in place, you can cut the hose to length. So here's how the system works. The hot liquor tank is on the left, mash tun in the middle, and boil kettle on the right. Pump 1 is on the left, and pump 2 is on the right, and the rims rocket is in the middle. The left controller is used to set the temperature of the hot liquor tank. The right controller is used to set the temperature of the rims rocket at the beginning of the brew day and used to boil at the end. With water in the hot liquor tank and mash tun, set the controllers to the desired temperature. Always have a pump running when heating with the rims rocket. Turn pump 2 on and set the three-way valve to the left to recirculate. The water will be pumped through a rims rocket, passing a temperature sensor, giving you an accurate reading of your strike water. The water will then pass through the flow meter, measuring the flow rate, then finally the auto sparge. Once you reach the desired temperature, it's time to turn off the rims rocket and pump. Dough in, stir well, and let the mash sit for about 10 minutes before turning the pump back on. Recirculate the wort with the rims rocket set to your desired temperature and perform step matching techniques as required. Once your mash is finished, turn off the heat and pumps. Set the three-way valve on pump two to the right. Set both pumps on. Pump two will transfer the wort from your mash to your boil and pump one will sparge the remaining water. Once the liquid is transferred, remove the cord from the rims rocket and plug it into your boil kettle. Set the controller to on only after the boil coil is completely submerged. 